the boom Appointed Outdoors is brought to you by Under Armour. This week, we got something special for you guys. I'm bringing in my boy, Zach, brother from a different mother. What's up, my man? What's going on, brother? <laughs> All right, so we are headed to Ohio on a turkey hunt. What do you think, my man? Y'all, I tell you what, we got a treat for you. This is gonna be a, a good one for y'all to see. Definitely had us geeking. It's gonna have y'all geeking to it, and I promise, so stay tuned. For sure. All right, y'all. So I get in the truck, load it up. I'm headed from the Eastern Shore where I live, out to Bucky's place. It's about a two hour ride. My man is waiting on me. He's been called me five, six times. Man, where are you at? Where are you at? I was late a little bit. Yo, what up, homie? You got that very zoom on there? Cause I need it. Yeah. I know you ain't got no confidence in me, but I got I got you a Snickers bar. I got you a Twix for later. A Gatorade, you told me you didn't want to drink, but I got you anyway, babe. I got you a beef stick. Hot too, hot beef stick. So I hope you got gum, cause I ain't smelling your breath all day. And, yep, let's go get a gobble, baby. Here to go. We get in the truck. We start heading on down to Ohio, and we are excited, man. Every time we travel, it's always a good time. The fellowship that we got is just something special, and I love the bond that we got, and I'm happy to share it with you guys. So, but um, so we show up in Ohio. First day, we get there. We go up top, start hunting immediately. We're eager to get in there and see see a strutter, and uh, we get up there. We hear some birds hammering. Pretty windy, I think, the first day, right? Windy was, yeah, windy was yeah it was pretty windy. Sure. Couldn't really hear that well, but we had a bird hammering and we're trying to find him. Hey, what's going on, guys? Zach here with the Pointed Outdoors. Me and Bucky, we're out here in Aberdeen, Ohio. We're super pumped up. We're here for a turkey hunt, a uh, three day turkey hunt. We're gonna get set up here, see if we can get a bird striked up, and uh, see what we can get down for you guys. The, the thing that made it really hard on that specific uh, hunt was is that we were on a power line and we're in the same level as he is and he can see us. Sat there for a while. We yelped to see if he would come off that hand, but he wasn't having it. Yeah, he and, was, uh, he, he, was not he came down and, and off into the woods he went. All right, y'all. Day two comes around. We struggled on day one, so we're looking forward to day two. Bet much better weather, not as windy, so we're excited about it. So we get going to a new property. Uh, we started at, at a whole new property, different area. We heard a couple birds hammering off the roost. Tried to get on them. They got down off the roost never said a peep afterwards so we leave that property and as we're going to another one we're driving down the road and i was like buck, buck, buck. i said dude there's like three strutters out in the field right there man and he's and so we we whip around you know and we're glassing them and they are just fanned out man just all over those hens just running them back and forth and i, I look at buck i said dude we got to try and see if we can get on this lot right here <laughs> and so we we whip in there I, I go up to the front door i knock on it the woman comes to the door and she's like how can i help you sir and i said well ma'am i said you got three monster strutters in your backyard um on your on your property 
And uh, I said, would we be able to hunt that? And she says to me, sure, no problem. Make sure you stay on my property. And so Zach and I pulled up our app. We made sure where the boundary lines were. So we knew that we had the plan before we went in there. Oh, yeah. Uh, we grabbed the strutter. We got behind him. What'd we do? Yeah, we started reaping this bird, man. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just a adrenaline rush in itself. I don't know if y'all ever done that, but if you haven't, you should try it. Uh, make sure it's legal in your state. <laughs> For sure. But we were reaping, and we're creeping up on this bird. I mean, we're on our, we're getting close. We're on our hands and knees. We're crawling. We got cameras rolling. We got we both got strutters up, trying to hide ourselves. We got a gun on our back. You know what I mean? We're we're ready to double. We're thinking we're gonna double up on these birds. We're there. The birds are in front of us. They're strutting right in front of us, gobbling their heads off. But between me and the birds, there's a fence post. We can't get on the other side of that fence. It's not our property, according to Bucky. I, I asked him three times before we tucked our tails and got out of there. I said, are you sure we can't shoot them birds? He said, we can't shoot them birds, Zach. That is not our property. That's what the lady said. I said, okay, fine. We tuck our tails, roll on out of there. We get up to the truck, and y'all are not going to believe what this lady says when she comes out and says. <laughs> well, I, I, Zach gets in the truck. She comes out to the front door. Well, boys, did you get them? And I said, no, ma'am, we didn't. And she said, well, <laughs> why didn't you shoot them? And I said, ma'am, you told oh. me not to shoot them over the fence, and they didn't come over the fence, so we didn't. And she's like, you should have shot them. That was my neighbor's property, and I had permission to hunt that. And we looked at each other, and I did not respond. I just got in the truck calmly, shut the door, and we went off to the next property. To make matters worse, he forgot to tell you, not only is it her neighbor, it's her cousin, <laughs> family member. So day two is another bust. <laughs> Off we are in the truck, headed home, get ready for day three. All right, day three, here we go. We get up real early. We want to get up over the top of this hill. So like you said, we missed the ones in the morning. We moved one spot, set up. Beautiful spot down in the, looking down in the creek bottom. We're back on the other side of the farm. Beautiful area in here. Absolutely gorgeous. If I was a turkey, this is exactly where I would be. Bucky's behind me. He's hitting on that Woodhaven custom call, and it is sounding good. We're thinking this this gobbler's coming in. Well, lo and behold, here comes a yote flying into the scene. I mean, he was coming right to the decoy, and then as he comes up the hill at the bottom of the creek, he slows up, right? Yeah, he puts on stealth mode, dude. He and just Buck, goes in stealth. And honestly, I was like, what, I asked Buck, I turned around, I think I said, what, what was that? Yeah. And he's like, it's, it's a yo, it's a yo, it's a yo. <laughs> he's like, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Here we go, get him, get him. So I'm like, all right. So he starts creeping on up and then take a look, see what happens. He gone. He gone. That's that Brownie Max's baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. goodness. Dude, that's sick. Hoss, look at the hole in this thing. Bro. I know. I'm, I'm going to come over here and check it out. <laughs> Bro, 
If that was a long beard. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Got down there, finishing them off. We turned that rope hunt into a yoke hunt real quick, baby. Amen. So you guys know when you hit the woods, sometimes you got to make that switch. Go from hunting what you planned on hunting to taking out those predators because they are hunting the same animals we are. Right, Z? Absolutely. Hey, guys, stay tuned. We got a special treat for y'all next week. My man Bucky is going to be in Maryland on a throwback hunt within the first hour of the season. He punches a tag. So if you haven't followed us on Facebook, make sure you do. Instagram, YouTube, and give us a follow. We love y'all's support. And as always, God, God bless. bless. Appointed Outdoors was brought to you by these fine sponsors. <laughs>